to Golden Final Spin. Thank you for clicking that button to watch this video. In this video, I'm going to be doing an unboxing of a turntable. I've seen a lot of photos of other YouTube Final Community collectors that use the same turntable. And I see it on Facebook, you know, when people take pictures of what they're spinning and then they put a record there. And I see you turn a lot. So I wanted to see for myself what this turntable was like because I want to find a turntable that I can recommend to other people when they're just getting into collecting records. So I reached out to U-Turn and within 15 minutes they got back to me and said, yes, we will send you a turntable to do a review, to have a look, which one do you want? And I was like, wow, really? I can pick whatever one I want. Now I could have went right to the top. Now they have the Orbit Plus, which is like 560 some dollars, I, I, around 500. I know it's 500 plus. And it's a wooden plinth on it. But why would I do that? I, I'm not keeping this. I'm actually giving this to a really good friend who wants to get into collecting the records. So I said, okay, let's not get greedy. I don't want the basic. They have an Orbit Basic and they have an Orbit Plus and then the other one. So I went with the Plus. But I wanted something included onto it to be able to make this review proper because people just getting into collecting records, they don't know, some of them don't, some of them don't, some do, know that you need a preamp and a lot of receivers nowadays don't have a phono setting. So I had to have that on it. And I noticed that the Q on the tone arm is not included on uh, some of them. That's like a special feature that you have to uh, get with the U-turn. So I said, include those two things. And then they were like, well, what color do you want? They're, they're, it was amazing. I was like, what the heck is going on here? Okay, whatever color you want. So they sent it and it came in the mail today. Now I'm going to open this up. I don't know what color it is and we're going to pick it apart and I'm going to give you my honest opinion on it. If I don't like it, I'm not giving it to my friend. This has to be a good turntable. I'm hoping it is. So let's get to unboxing this. Okay. It's a big box and right away when I lifted it up, I noticed the weight of it. and. I like heavy turntables, so All right, the first thing is the platter. What else in here? Uh, you got your very thick slip mat. Here we got our RCA cables and instruction manual and then they got a logo sticker here. What else is in here? All right. I believe this is probably the power. All right, your power. This is right. Orbit power cord. Here is our dust cover. Very nice. I gotta say, this is pretty. I never expected it to be blue. How do I get this out of here? And that's it. Now. It has some weight to it. I really like it. First, weight wise, let's take this out of its package. I want to be careful around the phone arm. Okay, it looks really nice on the bottom. We have, it's all smooth, it's, it's really nice, presentable. This is your power to turn the power on. That's unusual. I've never seen it on the outside of a plant before. It's usually on the inside. But it's got a braided protector 
on the outside of the cable. Really nice feet. And there are only three of them. People say that, some people say that three is more sturdy than four. Power supply goes in. And this is the built-in preamp. And there's a button here. I'm assuming that is to turn the preamp on and, and to bypass it. So I'm hoping that's what it is. Because later on down the road, you may not like the internal preamp. And you might want to upgrade to an external preamp. The hinges are quite stiff. These are plastic hinges. I'm not sure how long these will last. Let's hope that they last for a while. Now they have their logo here and your on and off button. This is the motor which is quite different. What I'm thinking is they got this rubber that goes around here uh, and that helps isolate the motor noise from the rest of the plinth and so that is like a cushion. So hopefully that doesn't wear out over time. I don't know. That there is an interesting engineering. I, I believe that that would... I think that's going to work. That's very interesting. I like that. This here is completely different. This is an inverted spindle. I have never seen one before. So basically what they're doing here is instead of having it drilled out in this way, they're actually created their own spindle here. And this just sits on top of that. And right here, this is where the platter sits and, and it has a rubber around it. So that helps isolate the acrylic platter from the bearing. It spins really nice. Now let's move over to the tone arm. It has the queue up, which I really wanted because I think that should be essential for anyone just getting in to collecting records and listening to records because if you have shaky hands, you could damage your records. This is another thing that I really like about this, that it had a sliding versus a screwing counterweight. So you undo this screw here, and then you slide it to what the weight is required for your cartridge. Now they have a cartridge on this already, so they probably already had it set up, but we're going to test it and make sure that it has proper weight. What comes on this? It has an Ortofon OM5E on it. I never used one of those before, and it looks really nice. I like how they have quite a bit of the wire in the back showing. Now I was a little bit concerned when I seen the pictures of the tone arm. I thought that it was cheap looking, but it actually, now that I see it in person, it's not very cheap at all. This is uh, some kind of metal. All right, so the Orbit Q is optional and the built-in phono preamp is optional as well. The built-in preamp is set to on out of the box. Simply connect a power speaker or an amp using the included RCA cables. If you want to use an external preamp, press the preamp bypass switch to disable the built-in preamp. The preamp is disabled when the LED is off. That I really like. That I like because I may not like the sound of the built-in preamp, but you can turn it off. And there's some tables that you cannot do that. So that is a key thing here that I really like. Obviously you can upgrade the cartridge on this and the preamp on this. So that's cool. All right, so this is one belt and it goes around the entire platter. Very nice, clear frosted edges straight edges on the platter straight on the inside as well so the smaller part on the pulley is your 33.3 and then the bigger part you have to change it over would be your 45 and this motor is not moving all that much so that's pretty cool i highly recommend using the mat on acrylic 
Uh, if you like the looks of the acrylic when you're not playing, you can take it off and you'll be like, hey, look at my turntable, you know? It looks amazing. But when you're playing it, it came with one, you should use it because you would just end up scratching it, scratching it all up, and then your table doesn't look new anymore. I like to keep my tables looking presentable. It's a part of my furniture, right? So my first impression of this is it looks amazing. It, for the price that you pay for this, I think it's well worth the money. But we still haven't tried it out yet. So now we're going to test out a record. I'm going to play it through my preamp, not their preamp, to see what it sounds like going through uh, my system. I always rely on this guy here. This is the, the mystery of the Green Street Underground. I'm always afraid about getting hit by copyright, but uh, I always contact him. I'm like, hey, can I use your music for a second? I gotta do some research, and he has no problem. So we're gonna play the first track off of this album. I'll put a link to him below so that you can check out his music. Amazing artist. Thank you, thank you for allowing me once again to use your album. It's a great album. I really like it. Okay, one of the things to remember when you first get it, make sure you take your stylus guard off. It's so concealed. I didn't even know it was on there, but it was. So that is off. And then we're going to turn this on and get her going. Make sure your cue up is up when you're moving it over so that when you lay it down, it's sitting right on top of it. And I think that should be good right there. So keep in mind, this is coming through my speakers through my preamp.
Okay, now I have bypassed my preamp and I'm going straight from here into my system. I'm not doing it over the computer because I don't know, it just I never works out the way that I want. So hopefully you can get a good idea when it comes to just going from their preamp to my system. Let's go into the next song. Let's make sure she's on the right song. Here we go. So that song's just finishing up. So you can notice the difference a little bit, but of course mine. Whoa, 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 whoa. So this cue up goes all the way back. Nice. But they both sound great. If you're here in person, you would know that. So both the pre onboard preamp, I'm happy with it. It sounds really good to me. And of course my external my external I have a filters and stuff like that so I want to actually try with theirs as well it sounds a little bit lower but it still picks up a lot of the audio and it's, it's not bad it's not bad I think it's pretty good so my overall impression of this turntable is it is actually really good for a beginner someone that's just getting into records and it's not that expensive i mean it's just past what was it 250 dollars mark us a lot of other tables that are on the market are about you know fifty dollars less than that and they're they're not that great of turntables they're tone arms you cannot adjust the weight so you're putting a lot of weight down on your record which i don't like and i forgot to mention that this has a built-in anti-skate that's why you don't see it uh, i really don't know how to test that so i'm just i'm just hoping that it, it it works i mean they say that it's in there so let's hope that it does to me it's no different than uh, other turntables just using a little weight on their tone arm the two key things that i really liked well, there's three key things that I really liked about this turntable. One, you can control how much weight you're putting down on your cartridge. You can change out your cartridge for whatever one that you want and adjust it to the specs of that cartridge. And it has an acrylic platter, which is cool. And it has a built-in preamp that you can turn off if you don't like the sound so those features alone tells me that this is a good turntable and i really like it and i would recommend it to anyone that is just getting into records it has some upgradeability to it i wouldn't even bother going with the basic it, they are nice 
but I would go right up to this one because you get the acrylic platter. You add up these things that come in this turntable. So if you had to buy a preamp, that's like 50 bucks for a cheap one. Acrylic platter upgrade on most turntables are about $150. A nice stylus would cost you anywhere between $100 to $129 for a stylus. You're getting a nice uh, basic stylus on this, which is an order font. It's not a bad stylus. So if you add up all those things that come with this turntable, I say you're getting a good starter turntable. So this gets two thumbs up from me, and I'm now going to hand this off to my friend, and I believe that he's going to really like this turntable. Thank you, U-Turn, for sending this to me to give me a chance to do a review on it. It's a great turntable. Keep up the great work. Sorry this video was so darn long, but you know, that's... That's life, right? Sorry. Anyhow, thank you for watching Golden Final Spin, and I'll see you in the next episode. Remember to like, subscribe, push all those buttons down below, and I'll see you in the next video. Remember, keep spinning.